in this video i'm going to show you how to quickly export a part of your timeline in wondershare filmora 11 and this is coming up hi everybody innocent here and welcome to the channel over here we make videos like this if that is something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing so you see that moment when you have a whole timeline and then you want to export like five or six seconds out of it but you don't want to export the entire timeline before you crop it out of course to avoid resolution and all that here is how you can export just a portion of your timeline in wondershare firmware 11. so over here i have a particular project that i worked on recently and then i created this like and follow for more that i want to be putting at the end of my tiktok and instagram reels video now since i'll be using this in most of my videos i wanted to export only that part so how do you do it once you have your project open like this you are going to first of all take your Keza and place it at where you want the export to start so in Fiumora, you can easily double click on the path that you want to start and then it is going to just take you there right away now once you have this you're going to head over to this portion where it says in point and then you are going to left click on that so it is going to make a selection of where your export is going to start now once you're done with this just head over to the selection again and then drag your Keza to the very point that you want it to end so in my case i want it to end at this point and then you go back to this point and then you are going to select the out point and then you left click on that as well now you realize that the rest of your timeline is blacked out and then this part is the only one that is showing and that means that from this point if you head over to export and then you give it a name and title and then you export it this will be the only part that will be exported so let's give this one say like and follow and by the way you can follow me on instagram and tiktok as well so you can just go ahead and then export it let's export this to say the desktop so let's select this one and export this to desktop so let's go ahead and click on export now after this is done you can head over to your location in this case the desktop and then you can double click on your video and then this is what you have and that means you don't have to export the entire timeline before you can actually have a portion of it after you're done with this and then you want to get rid of the selection all that you need to do is you come onto your timeline again and then you can right click and go to cancel selected green so the everything selection that has been made is going to be off and then you can do the same thing for the rest of your timeline so in this project for instance it is a full video that i recently posted on my youtube and then i'm going to cut it into portion for instagram and then tiktok reels and that means i'm going to export it separately so all that i need to do is if i want to export this portion i'll double click the timeline comes and then i'm going to hit on the in point and then i'm going to drag it to the part that i want it to end so i'm going to have it over here and then you realize that i've used the same thing and inserted it into my project and then i can drag it to this side and then click on the out point and then i have this so when you click on export for instance you are just going to see one minute 16 seconds out of the entire video if you check here the actual video is five minutes 42 seconds so you can select this one and then you are going to just export it and you are good to go and yes that is how you can export a part of your timeline in wondershare firmware 11. i hope this video was helpful if it was a subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. It's Innocent here and bye.